All right, uh, welcome back. Uh, in the last exercise, we saw the light dependent resistor or this photoresistor set up in a voltage divider configuration just like this. Uh, however, in that case, we had a 5 volt power supply and a multimeter measuring the voltage. Now, we want to be able to do this with Arduino, so what I've done is replace that circuit with exactly a 5 volt supply. So here it is, 5 volts from the Arduino connected to the top part of that resistor. And if you recall, that resistor is a, was a 10 kilo ohm resistor. I rotated this photo resistor so that it's facing towards the Arduino uh, to make things uh, a little easier. So I have that photo sensor right here. Uh, the bottom leg of that photo sensor is connected to ground. The two resistors are in series. And at that junction between the two resistors, I'm connecting it to the analog port. So remember, this end of the Arduino was a all digital ports, and this end of the Arduino are all analog ports. So we're connected to analog port number zero. Okay, so that's where we're connected to. So now that we have all this connection all set, let's uh, bring the code editor and start writing code for it. Now under setup, uh, so there were a couple of things we used to do. When we had a digital pin, the digital pin can be either an input or an output. So we had to dis tell the Arduino whether we were using the digital pin as an input or we were using it as an output. However, in the case of the analog ports, the own, all these six input ports, is all these six are analog in. So notice this, it says analog in. So these are input only ports. We'll talk about analog output later on, but these are only analog inputs. So we don't have to specify the pin mode uh, for this. What I do want to do is take a reading from this photoresistor. So we're measuring the voltage across the photoresistor by putting this uh, right here. And what I want to do is basically take that voltage and show it on the serial terminal. So in order to do that, so let's initialize the serial terminal. So I have serial that begin 9600. So I'm uh, I'm initializing the serial communication, and that I do under setup. Now that's all I have to do under setup because I don't need to dis describe the pin mode. Uh, in the case of the loop, now what do we want to do in the loop? We want to read the analog pin, and for that we are going to read the analog voltage and store it in a variable. So let's call that uh, in integer value. Okay, integer val equals analog read is the name of the function. Analog read takes in the analog pin. So in this case, we can call it A0 or simply 0. It doesn't matter. Uh, these ports are labeled A0 through A5, so we can call it A0, uh, or we can just leave it 0. When we say analog read 0, we're not saying read from this 0. We're asking it to read from this 0. Okay, so we can leave it at 0 or we can leave it at A0, whatever your preference might be. I prefer to do A0 just to uh, make sure I'm absolutely certain that I'm doing an analog port. So we've read the analog value. Now let's just uh, use the serial uh, print commands that we know. Uh, so let's do print uh, ln val for now. And just to make sure that the reading doesn't go too fast, uh, let me add a short delay of about half a second uh, to make the value more readable on the serial uh, monitor. So we've written a complete code. So what we've done in this code, we've initialized the serial port to 9600 bits per second. Uh, remember, we did this in last module. Uh, then we read the analog sensor that's connected to A0. So in this case, the photo sensor's voltage we're measuring across A0. And then we're going to print the serial value uh, and then delay by 500. So let's start uh, the simulation. So now let me bring up the serial monitor. Now, let's see, uh, let me move the whole thing a little to the right. Here, so I'm completely in the dark, so I see that my value is 969. Remember, the value from this is not the voltage, uh, Arduino analog port takes the voltage and converts it in the range of 0 to 1023, where 0 is close to 0 volts and 1023 equals 5 volts. So if I, so when I have this sensor on the dark mode, uh, all the voltage across this 
five the all the five volt is almost dumped here so remember when we had a voltmeter connected it was closer to 4.74 volts and when we do on the other side we get really close to zero volts so by adjusting the amount of light that's incident on it i see that the total value changes from 969 to 268 to a really small value. So these are telling me the different voltages across this particular uh, photoresistor. So let's uh, let's look at how we might be able to convert that from uh, this number 1024 to actual voltage value. In order to do that, what we'll do here, so let me stop the simulation right here for a second. So uh, now that the simulation stopped, uh, now what we'll have to do is look at the values coming out of this uh, 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 resistor, uh, how it's converted to the voltage, and map that to 0 to 5 volt. Now remember, the voltages can be 0 0.00 or 5.00. So an integer is not an appropriate variable in which to store that variable, uh, that particular voltage. So for that, we'll use a variable of type float. A float is a temporary storage that is capable of storing values that might have decimal points in it. So integer was just whole number, 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, and so forth, whereas float might mean 1.0, 1.01, and so forth. So in this case, we'll declare a variable called voltage, which is of type float. Okay, uh, And how what we'll do is basically the voltage will be mapped uh, to the value. So if my value right here, so that's the value that we had measured. So that's these values right here. Now if that value is 1023, that means it's equal to 5 volts, right? So that means if that value was equal to 1023, right? If the value is equal to 1023, so 1023 divided by 1023 is 1. If that value is equal to 1023, then we want that particular reading to be equal to 5 volts. So for that, well, let's just do this. So it's the same as saying 5.0 volts divided by 1023. Okay, so value times 5.0 that whole thing divided by 1023. So what this will do is calc take the value if it's 1023. So 1023 should be equal to 5. So 1023 times 5.0 divided by 1023 will give me 5.0. If this value is 0, so 0 times whatever it is will give me 0. So this voltage value will be equal to a voltage reading uh, instead of the raw value that we see here. So let me copy that paste here and instead of val let me print the voltage and move this delay down here so that we can see this better okay so let's see how this let's run the simulation and see what this does so let me run the simulation now i see it 969 is equal to 4.74 and as i move this voltage value i start seeing the voltage go closer and closer to zero Right, so as light falls on it, uh, I see uh, readings go more and more. Now, it's difficult to get a sense of these values. So let's format this code, just format our printing just a little bit so that we see the value and the voltage uh, together uh, as one. So let me stop that for a second. So instead of print here, I'm going to say val. And in fact, I'm going to write a message like this raw reading and basically print that print the value okay in this case then I am going to before I actually print uh, the voltage value I'm going to say volt again these are formatting things that we learned in the last module volt all right, so instead of that, I'm going to put a comma or let's do a tab uh, after the raw reading. So what this will do is give you a raw reading, print the raw value, put a tab 
so that's space property then it'll print the voltage and it'll go to the next line so in one line we should be able to see both the raw as well as the voltage value so let's start the simulation again and see what that does so 969 corresponds to 4.74 and as I go up and increase the light I see that the voltage gets closer and closer to zero now if I change again to this to one kilo ohm what we'll see is at the bottom part I'm getting closer and closer to 1023 because that was closer to 5 volts and as I go up 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 I see closer and closer to 1.68 and that was similar to the experiment we've shown in the previous video so this is an example of analog read and serial print to see that reading